Whales are commonly thought of as kind giants, which do nothing but swim in the ocean and eat krill. That's not quite true. Whales can sink entire ships, attack people, and even swallow them. Want to know the gruesome truth about the most famous sea giants? Then watch this episode in which I'll tell you about the dark side of whales. This will make your hair stand up. Boats and Ships When sailing, the crew must be prepared for anything. In open water, danger can come from anywhere. The elements are, of course, at the top of the list of a ship's potential enemies, but the threat can also come from living creatures, including whales. History is replete with cases of whale attacks on ships, and the consequences of such attacks have often been tragic. As a rule, attacks on ships and boats are carried out by sperm whales, they're not the largest whales in the world, but definitely one of the most aggressive. An injured or enraged sperm whale can not only jump out of the water and attack a ship, but even sink it. it. Sounds crazy, but it's happened before. The most famous case of a sperm whale fighting a man is the destruction of the Essex, which occurred in 1820. The tragedy of this American whaling ship went down in history and even became the basis for the pilot of the famous novel, Moby Dick. Twenty years later, history repeated itself. In 1840, the American brig Desmond lost two sailors after a sperm whale blew two whalers to pieces. A year later, similar situation happened to a whaling vessel near Cape Horn. That time, the seamen got off lightly, because the injured sperm whale was not going to leave the place of the clash with the whalers, so the people floating among the wreckage survived only by miracle. Also in the 1840s, the famous sperm whale encounter with a group of whaler fishers off the coast of Japan took place. The whale was the first to show aggression, suddenly attacking a schooner and seriously damaging it. There were three whaling vessels nearby, two British and one American. Their captains decided to avenge the civilians. Nothing good came of it. Several sailors became victims of the incident, two whalers were destroyed, one of the brigs was damaged, and the sperm whale, albeit with a harpoon in its back, went into the depths. The schooner, originally attacked by it, sank. Fortunately, during the battle between the whale and the fishers, people managed to leave the sinking vessel. Although in the 20th and 21st centuries, such incidents have had and are on a completely different scale because ships have been improved, sperm whales still periodically attack boats, kayaks, and ships and at the very least cause great discomfort to sailors. In the Water Perhaps sperm whales attack on boats, kayaks, and ships are related to the fact that these whales see them as a threat. It's not excluded. But then how can we explain whale attacks directly on people? There have been such cases too. For example, in 2015, two tourists miraculously survived a sudden attack of a humpback whale. As you can see, sperm whales are not the only ones who are aggressive. The attack of the 40-ton giant was caught on camera as the tourists were watching the whales swimming around their kayaks and suddenly jumped out of the water, flew next to their kayak, and landed right on top of it. Although, in fact, it landed near the kayak. But it didn't matter because when the body of a giant whale weighing 40 tons lands next to you, you should not expect anything good. When the whale fell into the water, the kayak with the tourist disappeared behind the waves. It seemed that a tragedy had happened, but fortunately, everything turned out all right. The tourists were not only able to get out of the water, but weren't even injured. At the same time, they said the whole experience was like having a building collapse next to you. Inside What could be worse than a humpback whale that almost crushed you close to shore? Probably only a humpback whale that swallowed you. Humpback whales are not predatory animals, but they can swallow people. Michael Packard experienced it because he was inside a humpback whale in June this year. Michael, as usual, went to sea off the coast of Cape Cod Peninsula in Massachusetts in his boat. The weather was warm and windless with good visibility, but after diving into the water with diving gear to collect lobsters from the bottom, Packard soon experienced a violent jolt and found himself in total darkness. At first, Michael thought he'd been eaten by a shark, but then he groped around and realized there were no teeth and that a whale had swallowed him. This, of course, did not bring relief. Fortunately for the fisherman, the howl didn't last long. 
Feeling the discomfort, the whale shook its head, surfaced, and spit out the sailor stuck in its mouth. According to Michael, he spent 30 to 40 seconds in the whale's mouth. Not that long, but I think when you're inside a 15-meter giant, seconds last like hours. By the way, Michael Packard is not the only person to be swallowed by a whale. In 2019, for example, a bride's whale swallowed diving coach Rainer Schimpf off the coast of South Africa. Fortunately, the mammal quickly realized it had the wrong thing in its mouth and spit Rainer out. It was also claimed that in 1891, a sperm whale swallowed James Bartley and it literally ate him. But a few hours later, the whale was caught, spaded, and Bartley was taken out of it. That last story sounds completely insane, so most people consider it an urban legend. Anyway, at least the stories of Schimpf and Packard prove once again that whales are not as simple and harmless as they seem. Killer Whales And of course, it's impossible not to tell about orcas or killer whales, the most dangerous whales in the world. In fact, in terms of biology, orcas are ocean dolphins, but if ocean dolphins are cetaceans, then orcas can be safely called whales. To be more precise, they can be called the most ferocious whales of the planet. Not without reason, they're also called killer whales because these are the only true predators among modern cetaceans that hunt warm-blooded animals. Orca's at the top of the food chain in marine wildlife and has almost no enemies. That's cool in itself, but what's also interesting is that orcas hunt their prey not in a simple way. Orcas are incredibly intelligent animals that use not only strength and size, but also complex tactical and even strategic schemes during the hunt. For example, when looking for fish, groups of orcas usually turn in a chain and swim at a speed of about 5 km per hour. Echolocation signals enable each animal to determine its position relative to the others, stay in contact with them, and participate in the overall activity of the group. Orcas press a detected school of fish against the shore or gather the fish into a tight ball near the water's surface, dive into its middle, and turn and blast the fish with strokes of their tail. When it comes to hunting larger animals, orcas usually use ambush tactics. For example, orcas tactically ambush seals using the bottom topography near their rookeries with only one male hunting and the other animals waiting in the distance. When hunting for seals or penguins swimming on the ice flow, orcas either duck under the ice flow and smash into it, or, lined up in a line, create a high wave that washes the prey into the sea. They do it synchronously with the movements of the powerful flukes. Orcas attack even the large whales. They simultaneously pounce on the victim, biting its throat and fins in an attempt to prevent it from rising to the surface. However, orcas do not attack all whales. For example, male sperm whales are avoided by orcas because their strength is great and their jaws can cause fatal wounds to the predators. Fortunately, orcas are creepy and extremely dangerous creatures only for sea dwellers. They're not dangerous for humans. In their natural habitat, orcas show no fear of humans, but there have been no documented cases of attacks. There are no credible cases of human deaths as a result of orca attacks in the wild which indicates that killer whales are not interested in humans as food. But there's a nuance. In captivity, orcas are capable of attacking humans, and several times it even ended tragically. Despite all the incredible abilities of orcas and even their aggression towards humans in captivity, many still consider them large and friendly animals of the ocean dolphins family. Speaking of dolphins, just like in the case of whales, these cute and intelligent creatures are not as kind and simple as you might think. Dolphins, too, have a dark side worth learning about. Stay tuned because in conclusion of this episode, I'll share with you some creepy and not-so-nice facts about dolphins that will change your mind about these creatures. Help It's long been believed that dolphins save drowning people and don't let sharks to get close to people. Specially trained dolphins are indeed capable of doing this, but not wild creatures. They can swim up to drowning people out of curiosity and even let themselves be grabbed with their hands, but it won't be a rescue. Dolphins are driven by instinct, so once they're convinced that the person is inedible, they leave. In the case of drowning, these sea creatures can even hasten death by playing with the exhausted drowning person. 
As for protection from sharks, these predatory fish and dolphins do not get along, so a pod of dolphins circling around the swimmer simply scare the bloodthirsty sea killers. The sharks swim away, but this can't be called conscious assistance. Attacks Dolphins not only do not save people, but can even deliberately harm people by attacking them. There have been several known cases of these animals biting people while they were feeding. The most famous case of an attack occurred at SeaWorld Park in Florida. There, a dolphin bit the hand of a girl who was feeding it, causing a non-dangerous but painful injury. In the sea, dolphins can also attack humans. For a pod of dolphins hunting for a school of fish, a person in a wetsuit looks like a competitor, so they may begin to push them away from the prey rudely. In some cases, dolphins can push the swimmer practically into the open sea. Is it worth saying what this is fraught with? Among each other As you've understood, dolphins don't like people very much. But conflicts occur not only between dolphins and people, or dolphins and other sea inhabitants, but also between dolphins themselves. Actually, the word conflicts is an understatement. Sometimes dolphins kill each other. From 1991 to 1993, scientists have studied the bodies of dolphins off the northeast coast of Scotland. The scientist report stated that some of the dead dolphins had obvious bite marks and deep scratches on their bodies. After studying these marks, the scientists concluded that they could have only been left by the teeth of the dead animal's relatives. That's all, guys. Would you like to see dolphins and whales with your own eyes? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.